Hey, what's going on? Uh, here to show you guys a new pickup video. Uh, first stuff to start off with is free items. Um, I don't really come across stuff that's free, so this is kind of cool. Uh, one of the items was something I had when I was childhood that I got back. Uh, the other stuff was just given to me. Uh, so we'll start off with what I used to have. And for the Game Boy, that Super Mario Land. Um, awesome game. Immediately once I got this back in my hands, I played it and beat it. it was so much fun. Uh, but my older brother um, had this. He has a bunch of my other Game Boy games. Um, he, he's also had my Super Nintendo and other stuff that he said he sold. But I'm not sure, so I need to try to find that shit. Uh, when we went on vacation, we visited him in uh, the Bay Area. And he had this, so I took it. I said, hey, can I have this back? He said, sure. So, yeah, that's, I guess, free. Or getting back to its owner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the other thing I got for free is a game I already have, and it is Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, Guns of the Patriot. And our house sitter, <clears throat> uh, mom bought this, and she went to play it, and she says she hated it. She's too frustrated, too frustrated with it, so she said, I can have it. I thought it was cool, so what I'll probably do is trade this in um, to get whatever. But free PS3 game, it's kind of cool. Um, the other thing I got is an Angry Bird plushie, uh, which I got from work, and I really wish I would have gotten the other thing that was uh, that they were handing out. We had a, a rollout for a new product that we sell, and and um, the rep brought um, an iPad and a couple of iPods um, to kind of you know give away for free, uh, which is what they normally do when they roll out a new product. Um, and they create a little Angry Bird game where we had to knock, knock down a bunch of little sheeps and um, yeah, I had the most Angry Birds and I still couldn't win, I couldn't knock as many sheep down and I did not win the iPad. Uh, but then af after where they were just giving out the little plushies, so they gave me one. Uh, the next few things were some stuff I forgot to add on my last video. Um, stuff I got from the Swap Me out in uh, Hawaii. and. The first two things were pogs, um, and I only bought these for more nostalgic kind of reasons. It's just kind of neat, and I couldn't believe that I saw pogs at um, the spot meet, and I was like, I gotta get some. They came with slammers, um, but I remember when the kid used to collect pogs a lot. You had the little tubes where you put your pogs in, and uh, we'd play and trade them. And this was a really fun game. We did this with marbles. Um, I mean, trading used to trade baseball cards and other different types of cards. Um, shit like that, man. It was fun and stuff that you know you don't see nowadays that kids do. Um, some other stuff I got for my daughter, and these are gonna look kind of ripped up because she uh, she opened them all up. But at the swap meet, they had these big old packs of Pokemon cards. Um, these were two dollars each, uh, and packs like this in stores go for like five between like five and ten dollars. So this I thought was a pretty good buy, and I got her three packs uh, from the swap meet. So she was stoked about that. Uh, let's go with stuff we got from Goodwill. Some stuff I got today and stuff I got a couple weeks ago. Um, here's one interesting thing I got today for 25 cents. It is a Game Boy uh, cleaning kit. Uh, all I had was this and I thought it looked really cool and it opens up. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, but it opens up like that so that you can put the cleaning solution on the pad and then you can reclose it. Uh, put it in your Game Boy and uh, Cleans it. Uh, kind of neat. I just uh, more just for collecting purposes. I got that. Uh, this I'm not sure how much they charge me for. Probably like ten cents or something. But it's just a little uh, DS holder, and it holds up to four games. Um, so I picked that up because I could have used it on vacation. <laughs> uh, the next thing I was surprised to see that they had was a uh, 3DS dock. Now I have an extra power cord. So this is going to be kind of useful for us. Uh, we can have this in the front room or wherever and put our 3DS there along with where we keep it in our bedrooms. Um, this was probably like 50 cents, maybe even cheaper than that because they base it off of weight. Um, it works. Uh, so it's cool little find. I mean, just an extra little power base. Uh, next I got is the Dragon Ball Z comics. I always forget what you, what you guys call it, but... Uh, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of collecting these. Every time I see them at Goodwill, I'll pick it up. They only charge 25 cents for it, so 
it's, it's always a good buy. Uh, the next three items I got are from our daughter, and they're all computer games. And she does have a computer in her bedroom. Um, this one's first grade um, jump start, so a lot of little uh, learning games for her, which is good. And then uh, here's a Dora game, which was brand new. Um, and then this was also brand new. It was just torn. Um, this is another Dora game, some party game or something. I really know what um, but those were all, I think, a dollar each, which isn't bad. Oops, sorry. Just moving around things. Um, the next things are for me. Uh, this was $1. Oops, this was a dollar. This is uh, Samurai Empire. It's a computer game. There's your stuff inside of there. Uh, looked interesting, so I picked it up. And I picked this up because it was brand new. Um, and it's World of Warcraft. It's a uh, expansion set, so you have to have uh, this first for you to be able to play this or whatever. Um, but, you know, I come across these all the time. All the World of War Warcraft stuff in uh, Goodwill, and I pass up on a lot of them. Um, this one's new, so I just picked up. It was a dollar. Um, not sure if it's worth a dollar or not, or more or less, but, um, you know, I'll keep it with, you know, if I ever get any of these, I'll, I'll play it. But it's pretty cool. Opens up. Talks more about the game and shit. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, next is a DVD, and it's a Tribe Called Quest, uh, a video anthology, and um, this was a buck. Um, this one, just a bunch of their music videos from back in the day. No disc, but that's because I've been, I was checking it out. <laughs> it's in my DVD player. Um, next are some PS2 games. Uh, the first one is just an empty PS2 case. Or is it a DVD case? Oh. It's a DVD case. Uh, but anyways, it is MLB, uh, the show 2006. Tested it out. Works. And the other PS2 game I got was uh, Karaoke Revolution Party uh, for the, the iToy. All was a dollar. Uh, this one's complete. And it works. Um, we have a strategy guide. This one looks really cool. Um, it's kind of glossy, kind of like a foil cover. That's Star Wars Episode One: uh, The Phantom Menace, and yeah, Strategy Guide. Um, so I, I got that because it was, I think it was a dollar or fifty cents or something. It's pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, pick that up. Um, then I got this, which is something I needed, and it's a switcher box, so you can switch back from uh, component to uh, from component to component. So we can go to like, uh, zoom in here, so you can go to Xbox, the, your PS2, this one's cool because it's labeled with different games, GameCube, um, your other slot is right here, and also, other things has, uh, we have component, uh, S-video, um, your normal composite, uh, your left and right audio, and a Ethernet connection for, uh, well, back in the day, especially using for internet access for you know Xbox, GameCube, and PS2. Uh, this was five dollars uh, and works. This was ten dollars. Uh, checked online and these are going for about thirty to forty dollars. But I remember when this first came out in like 2006 I believe. Um, and it's basically a pen and, and it, whatever you write it like speaks it out or saves it. I can't remember all the details on it but it was pretty cool. And it's brand new, um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. If we're going to save this as a Christmas gift to one of the kids. Because uh, it's kind of cool. I remember my uh, stepdaughter, when she was really little, wanted one of these. Um, and we used to sell these when I used to work for Circuit City way back in the day. Uh, so that was $10. Um, move over here. we got some more current stuff. Um, I did a unboxing video on this one. This is Batman Arkham City uh, for the PS3. It was a hundred dollars and I got some PS3 games uh, the first one I got from actually the next two I got from Target uh, one is Red Faction uh, Gorilla next uh, this was fourteen dollars this one also was fourteen dollars and this is uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 
um, and I have one. This is actually a really fun game. I really liked it. So to pick it up for under fifteen dollars was a good buy. All brand new. <clears throat> the next game I got is forty dollars right now retail, and I went to look on Best Buy's website, and they had a special on it, and it's a uh, the Eco and Shadow of the Colossus collection for the PS3. Um, so you get the HD version of these PS2 games. Um, I own the Shadow Colossus, but I don't own Eco because it's thirty dollars used. So um, I wasn't really that itching to get it, but now that I got it on here, it's really cool. So this goes for forty bucks. Um, I got it for twenty-five dollars, brand new on Best Buy's website. Um, I'm not sure if that's a deal that's still going on. I got it about uh, maybe three or four days after it came out, which was the twenty-seventh of uh, September, I think. Uh, I think, well, uh, yeah, 27th of September, I think, is when this rolled out. But uh, 25 bucks was a really good buy, so I definitely picked it up. Uh, but anyways, this is kind of what I have currently right now. Not a ton of stuff uh, like I normally pick up, but, you know, when you're buying sets like this for 100 bucks and some newer PS3 games, it's like 20 30 40 bucks. It kind of wipes out your funds. On top of that, you know, I'm also... I've also been really busy uh, with work and just personal life stuff. Uh, we're hoping to move on and buy a house so we're saving money on a bunch of things. So uh, I'll be doing a bunch of other videos other than pickup videos. Pickup videos probably you won't see them as um, pumping them out as fast as like I used to, but it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you talk to you soon. Bye.